Good morning to all of you. This is Mom Sheila again and we are still in the module 1 which is about quadratic equations. So for today, we are in our le third lesson that is characterizing and describing the roots of quadratic equation. So we have here nature of roots. Identifying the nature of roots of quadratic equation means we are going to characterize or describe the roots. We will be identifying whether the roots are real numbers or not. If it is real number, is it rational or irrational? And we are going to identify whether the roots are equal or unequal. Without knowing the roots, we can actually identify or describe the roots. The question is how? How are you going to identify? without knowing the roots. That is, by identifying the value of the discriminant. What is this discriminant? The value of the expression b squared minus 4ac is called the discriminant of the quadratic equation. This value can be used to describe the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. Again, the discriminant is the value of the expression b squared minus 4ac. So for the first one, if b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, or if the discriminant is equal to 0, then the roots are real, rational, and equal. Are you familiar with the expression b squared minus 4ac? Very good. It is actually the expression inside the radical sign in our quadratic formula. So using our quadratic formula, let us prove the first one. Now, if b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, what is the square root of 0 again? Yes, it is 0. So considering that we have this expression, we are going to get x sub 1. So it will be 2 plus 0 equal over 2. So x sub 1 will be equal to 1. And if we use the negative root, if it is negative 0, then x sub 2 is also equal to 1. So based on here, as you can see, x sub 1 is 1 and x sub 2 is also 1. That is, the roots are equal. And, of course, number 1 are real numbers and obviously it is also a rational number. So again, if b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, then the roots are real, rational, and equal. Let us consider the second concept. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0 and a perfect square, then the roots are real, rational, and unequal. Considering again our quadratic formula, this time around, the value of our discriminant is 4. 4 is greater than 0, and as we all know, it is a perfect square. And the square root of 4 are positive and negative 2. So if we have this expression, therefore, our x sub 1 taking the positive root, it will become 2 plus 2 all over 2. So x sub 1 is 2. For x sub 2, we'll take the negative root. We will be having 0 over 2, and it is equal to 0. Obviously, 2 and 0 are unequal. They are also considered real numbers and also they are rational. That is why if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0 and a perfect square, then the roots are real, rational, and unequal. Now, how about if it is greater than 0 but not a perfect square? It says, if the discriminant is greater than 0 and not a perfect square, then the roots are real, irrational, and unequal. This time around, let us have 3 as the value of our discriminant. It is greater than 0, just like 4 earlier. But this time around, we all know that 3 is not a perfect square. What will happen to the roots of the quadratic equation? x sub 1 will become 2 plus square root of 3 all over 3. And x sub 2 will become 2 minus square root of 3 all over 3. We have plus here and then we have minus here. This tells us that the two roots are unequal. And also, they are real numbers but this time around they are irrational. Since 3 is not a perfect square, we still have the radical sign in our roots. That makes it an irrational number. And then the last concept will be this one. If b squared minus 4ac this time around, it is less than 0. 
It says the equation has no real and unequal roots. Let's have this one. This time around, the value of the discriminant is negative 3. So we will be having x sub 1, 2 plus square root of negative 3 all over 3. And x sub 2 is 2 minus square root of negative 3 all over 3. Obviously, those, these two expressions are unequal. Are they real numbers? No, they are not. They are actually unreal numbers. Why? Because we have the expression square root of negative 3. If you have two negative numbers multiplied, the answer is yes, positive. And also, if two numbers are multiplied, the answer is also is also positive. So there is no chance that you will be having a square root of a negative number. Because there is no such thing when multiplied by itself will give you a negative result. That's why this expression is considered unreal numbers. Did you get it? Okay, now let us have some illustrative examples. For example, number 1, let us have x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0. Again, to identify the nature of roots, we need to get its, the value of the discriminant. And the value of the discriminant is the value of the expression b squared minus 4ac. We have the coefficients a, b, and c, meaning to say we need to get the value of a, b, and c first. In the given expression, we have here a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2, and c is equal to 1. Getting the value of the expression, we are going to substitute our b is negative 2, then minus 4, the value of a is 1, and the value of c is also 1. Therefore, if we simplify the expression, negative 2 squared is 4, and then minus 4 times 1 times 1 is also 4, and 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. It means the value of the discriminant is equal to 0. Then without knowing the roots, since the discriminant is equal to 0, we can say or we can conclude that the roots are actually real, rational, and equal. Let us consider the second example. x squared minus 4x plus 5 equals 0. Again, we need to get first the value of a, b, and c. So our a here is 1, b is negative 4, and c is 5. Using again the expression b squared minus 4ac for the value of the discriminant, and substituting b, we have negative 4, and then minus 4, our a is 1, and our c is 5. If we simplify, negative 4 squared is 16, minus 4 times 1 times 5 is 20. 16 minus 20 is negative 4, which means that the value of this discriminant is less than 0. Therefore, we can conclude that the roots are unreal and unequal. Hope you get it so far. Let's have a few more examples. Number 3. 3x squared minus x is equal to 2. Again, we need to get the value of a, b, and c. But as you can see, the expression is not yet written in standard form. So to get a, b, and c, it must be written first in standard form. And using addition property of equality, the expression will become 3x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. It is already in standard form, so the value of a is... 3, B is negative 1, and C is negative 2. We are now ready to get the value of the discriminant using this expression. Substituting the values, our B is negative 1 minus 4, the value of A is 3, and the value of C is negative 2. If we simplify, 1 squared is 1, negative 3 times negative 4 times 3 times negative 2 is positive 2. 24. And that expression will be equal to 25. As you can see here, the value of the discriminant is greater than 0. If it is greater than 0, we cannot tell yet. We need to identify if it 
is or if the discriminant is a perfect square or not. Is 25 a perfect square? Yes, it is a perfect square. So it means greater than 0 and a perfect square. Therefore, we can conclude that the roots are real, rational, and unequal. And for our last example, x squared plus 5x plus 3 equals 0. It is already in standard form where e the value of a is 1, b is 5, and c is 3. So let's have this one using our a, b, and c. Let us get the discriminant. We will be having 5 squared minus 4. The value of a is 1 and the value of c is 3. 5 squared is 25. 4 times 1 times 3 is 12. 25 minus 12 is 13. It is greater than 0. So again, is it a perfect square or not since it is greater than 0? 13 is not a perfect square. It is greater than 0 and not a perfect square. Therefore, we can say or we can conclude that the roots are real, irrational, and unequal. Okay, so again, the value of the expression b squared minus 4ac is called the discriminant. This can tell us the description or the characteristic of our roots. Again, if it is equal to 0, the roots are real, rational, and equal. If it is greater than 0 and a perfect square, the roots are real, rational, and unequal. But if it is not a perfect square, the roots are real, irrational, and unequal. And if the discriminant is less than zero, then there is no real, there is no real roots or the roots are unreal and unequal. So again, this is Mam Sheila. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.